Alexa, tell me a joke. Okay, so you've got an Amazon Echo and you've worked out how to get a joke, to play music and to get the weather report. You've probably also looked into the smart home options in the Alexa app. One of the coolest options are the Philips Hue lights, especially the colour changing LED strips, but if you have looked into it you'll also have found out that they are expensive. For instance, I have 7 meters of LEDs around my TV setup and if I replace it with a Philips Hue light strips including Philips Hue bridge and multiple extensions then I'm looking at around £300 which is an expensive way to impress your friends. But there is a much cheaper way. You'll need to buy a number of components starting with a Philips Smart Bridge which I got unused from eBay. A 12 volt 6 amp power supply, the correct length of RGBW LED strips to fit your requirements. These can be purchased from a number of places but I prefer ledhut.co.uk or installled.co.uk. And an FLS PP IP wireless controller from Dresden Electronics. This controller is also known as a ballast controller. When choosing the LEDs you'll need to be aware of the wattage. The power supply that I'm using is a 12 volt 6 amp supply. You multiply the volts and the amps to calculate the maximum wattage of the LED strips. 12 volts times 6 amps gives me a maximum of 72 watts of LEDs. The LEDs that I am using are 9.6 watts per meter, giving me a maximum of 7.5 meters. If you need a longer length of LEDs then you'll need to increase the amps of the power supply. There are seven connections on the ballast, five of them for the LED strip and two for the power supply. You need to cut the end off the power supply and correctly insert the wires. I wired in a DC power connector rather than cut the end of my power supply off. I connected and checked all of my components before installing them and now I will show you how. Firstly. Connect the bridge to your router and connect the bridge's power supply. All three blue lights will eventually light up. Then connect the 12 volt power supply to the ballast. The LED strip should glow white. Next, download and install the Hue Lights app. Follow the instructions and your LEDs should change to green when they're correctly detected. If you're installing RGBW, i.e. colour and white LEDs, then they will be detected as two separate lights. I would rename them at this point because you'll be referring to them by name through the Amazon Echo. As part of this setup you'll create a room which can be referenced through the Amazon Echo later as well. You can now control the colours of the colour LEDs and the brightness of the white LEDs. Now using the Amazon Echo there is no explicit support for changing the colours of the LEDs but there is a workaround. This is achieved by creating scenes in the Hue app. From the home screen select the room that you've created then select the scenes tab. There are a number of predefined scenes and you can create your own but oddly you cannot select the colour directly but instead you select an image and the Hue uses the colours within the image to create the scene. I just downloaded a few single colour images in order to create specific colour scenes. In order to use the scenes with the Amazon Echo, open the app, go to the skill section and enable the Hue skill.
you'll be asked to log on or create a Hue account and then you'll be asked to discover devices and after a quick search you'll notice that each of the scenes shows up as a separate device and is now accessible through the Amazon Echo with voice commands. If you create more than one room in the Hue app, you will need to refer to it in the command. Alexa, turn colour lights on. OK. Alexa, turn white lights on. OK. Alexa, turn on Energize. OK. Alexa, turn on Arctic Aurora. Okay. Alexa, turn colour lights to 10%. Okay. Alexa, turn white lights to 10%. Okay. Alexa, turn colour lights to 100%. Okay. Alexa, turn hue lights off. Okay. Alexa, turn conservatory lights on. Okay. 